Hey, what's up guys? I go by the name Soji Gray. I've been using the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra for about two weeks, and I must say, I really love this device. I'm gonna be sharing with you my experience with it and the top features I feel make this device stand out from the others. So without talking so much, let's jump right into it. Let me just start with the specification. So at the front, we are greeted with a 6.9 inch dynamic AMOLED display and it supports HDR10 always on display and it does 120Hz in full HD mode and 60Hz in quad HD mode, which is pretty awesome. I really like the brightness level of this guy. If you go outside, the outdoor visibility is really on point and the screen is very vibrant and colorful. I can say this is the best screen I've personally seen in 2020 by far. Moving on to the cameras, at the front we have a 40 megapixel f2.2 lens, at the back we have a 108 megapixel f1.8 wide lens, a 48 megapixel f3.5 periscope lens with 10 times hybrid optical zoom, 12 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide lens, and a 0.3 megapixel depth vision lens as well. The cameras on the S20 Ultra are pretty versatile and I must say it gives you a lot of room for creativity and I really love the images that this produced a lot. They were very crispy and very nice looking images. The S20 Ultra runs One UI 2.0 on top of Android 10 and it is powered by either an Exynos 990 CPU or a Qualcomm 865 CPU. We have a 128 gigs UFS 3.0 storage and then 12 gigs of RAM. The laptop I use is actually 8 gigs of RAM, but this is 12 gigs. Like, this is crazy. The S20 Ultra has a 5000 milliamp battery, which is pretty amazing, considering the fact that this is a quad HD display and it does 120 Hz in 1080 mode. 5000 milliamp is a lot to go by. Aside that, it has wireless charging and it has fast charging as well, fast charging at 45 watts and it also has the wireless power share feature that allows it to charge other devices so if you have another wireless smartphone or a smartphone that supports wireless charging you can actually charge it by placing it on top of the S20 Ultra aside that if you have any other accessories so maybe earphones that have um, wireless charging supports like the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus, you can actually place it on this device to charge, which in my opinion is very convenient and a very useful way to actually charge your, you know, your accessories or your tech gadgets. And I mean, thumbs up to Samsung for implementing this. I've not seen anything like this yet on other smartphones, so it's a good thing that they have it here on the S20 Ultra. Now let me quickly run you through some of the things I feel make this device stand out. Number one, I would say is the display. Now this display is an amazing display. It's huge at 6.9 inch, but I like that Samsung has been able to implement a lot of software, you know, features to make people make good use of the screen. So you know with Android, you can actually do a split screen where you have two apps running simultaneously but i like the fact that because this is a big screen you can actually run three apps so you have the split mode and you have the pop-up mode so you can actually run you know three different apps at the same time on this phone i have seen huge devices that do not have any software feature to make good use of the screen real estate i must commend samsung for doing that on the s20 ultra another thing i like about the s20 ultra is the fact that it has a micro sd slot meaning if you exhaust 128 gigs which i doubt you can you can actually upgrade to you know more storage using the sd slots which is pretty amazing i like the fact that this also has an in display fingerprint sensor so you don't have anything at the back or it doesn't take space here you have it in the screen which is very convenient and i can tell you it's also very fast as well coming back to the issue of having a big screen because this whole device is actually very big i like that samsung was able to implement a one hand mode one hand mode is very convenient take for instance you're actually cooking or doing something with one hand you can use one hand mode to you know navigate on your phone but once you're done with what you're doing you can switch back to the normal mode and use both hands which is also very cool you know, most smartphones have the screen record feature these days, but I like that Samsung has taken the screen record feature here up a notch, 
with the s20 ultra once you're recording your screen you can actually also record your face as well this is very helpful if you're streaming a game or you're recording a gameplay or you're doing a tutorial and you want people to actually you know experience or have a different experience other than hearing your voice they can also see your face this is a very convenient way to do so and the implementation is pretty pretty simple and i feel this is going to be a feature a lot of people are going to use i must commend samsung for implementing this it's very smart also i like the screenshot mode on the samsung galaxy s20 ultra you can actually do a scroll screenshot so if you want to do a very long screenshot maybe it's a web page you can actually do so easily without you know sacrificing space or anything so i mean there's a nice thing to have with other android devices i think you'd have to download a third party app but having this inbuilt is kind of you know very convenient as well also, the S20 Ultra has this feature called the Samsung Quick Share. So with Quick Share, you can actually quickly share files with other Samsung devices. Now, it's not any Samsung device, but supported devices because I think Quick Share is on the S20 line and some select Samsung models. It would be nice to have Quick Share on the mid-range and upper mid-range devices from Samsung so that it's going to be widely available to a larger audience. But I really love the Quick Share feature. You can easily send files to any other supported Samsung device and what all you have to do is just turn on quick share and once you're sharing the, the particular file you're gonna see a pop-up with the person's you know device and then you can click it to send to the person so it's very convenient and I like that they have been able to implement it I hope other you know smartphone companies are also going to adapt to this as well Honestly, I must say I love what Samsung has done with the S20 Ultra, bringing together top class hardware and top class software and fusing it into one unibody. I, I really love that. It's, it's not something you see along the market. With other devices, you see amazing software, but there are lots of compromises, but I don't get that with the S20 Ultra. Personally, I feel the cameras on the S20 Ultra deserve its own video, so I'll be working on you know uh, an in-depth camera review of the s20 ultra so let me know what you want to see in that video and thanks for watching this video i go by the name Soj gray and i'll catch you in another one stay blessed